a lot of time on LinkedIn, what I see is uh, people just have one sort of template of writing a message and then they give out the resume. It may or may not be even relevant for the profile which they are looking for. Uh, so it doesn't work. Today we have a very special guest, uh, Naman, who is an electronics and electrical engineer from BITS Hyderabad. He graduated in 2017 and currently he's working as a deep learning engineer at Geo. Among all the branches of engineering, electronics is known to be the most challenging. Even the CS gets its own hype. But uh, so tell us, you know, summarize the four years of engineering that you spent in BITS. I was very curious to know that, okay, how can I make robots see how can I make robots perceive their environment and that's how I slowly started to you know get involved in uh, computer vision based projects uh, so yeah it was fun it was exciting I did a lot of exploration in my four years I think the best thing about the undergraduate years of four years is you get ample time to experiment and explore so, I mean, uh, for somebody, you know, who's interested in the electronics and the hardware design of it, any particular electives in college that would probably, you know, help them um, bet, do better in the selection process? For robotics per se, uh, the most important courses would be uh, the ones which are revolving around digital electronics and microcontrollers. But uh, overall, in general, for electronics domain, uh, there are three, four courses. I mean, one is analog, you know, analog electronics. One of the most toughest but interesting courses in electronics domain. So, analog mm -hmm. electronics revolves all around, you know, how to build uh, systems with transistors, you know, CMOS mm -hmm. in general, etc. So, that mm -hmm. is electronics part. Then, there is this digital electronics. Then, there would be a combination of analog and digital electronics. That is also one mm -hmm. course. And finally, as I said, microcontrollers because uh, mm -hmm. microcontrollers would cover a range of topics from hardware interfaces to the software part. So that becomes very interesting in general. So uh, Naman, you also did an interesting uh, internship at Texas Instruments. So uh, tell us about maybe three take uh, takeaways from there. Uh, so it was very interesting uh, because uh, I mean for a transistor, basic transistor, we know only four to five parameters which would you know affect the characterization and the you know behavior of an entire, uh, entire transistor but mm -hmm. when i went to ti i was a part of uh, the team called you know spice modeling lens or you know analog mm -hmm. technology division uh, so there i i mean i just saw the entire uh, simulation pipeline etc there were hundreds of parameters which were being tuned to you know characterize a transistor so mm -hmm. they had built uh, several tools you know entirely and these tools were written in python and you know all sort of uh, such technologies basically touching upon that i mean if there is a you know fourth year third year engineering graduate who is going to intern at these kind of startups and smes which are into let's say you know computer vision iot robotics that area what are probably two or three things you would advise them to better prepare themselves uh, before they step into uh, the office so uh, nowadays, uh, I mean, this was not a prevalent exercise a year, few years ago, but now I would strongly suggest that if you can build a basic product, for example, uh, mm -hmm. face detection or an object detection kind of a project. But uh, nowadays it's a, it's a habit that, okay, I build a project and then I post it on GitHub. Yes. But that is not sufficient. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can post it on AWS, if you can build a small website out of it that okay I'm uploading an image then my model is detecting all the objects present in an mm -hmm. image then I am showing mm -hmm. some kind of an output if you can do that entire end-to-end -end, I mean it is a very simple pipeline but for a, a student it might be a great learning curve so if you can do that entire pipeline post it on cloud showcase it to mm -hmm. an interviewer live like when you are mm -hmm. doing an interview if you just say that okay i am uploading this image these are the objects present in your image so that is going to enhance your chances 
So I mean, right after uh, bits, I mean, the first job that you were doing was in high tech robotic systems. Tell us about uh, again, you know, the recruitment process a bit, and what kind of projects did you do, and what were you know the, the most interesting ones. I had a senior working at high tech robotics, and uh, I was looking, as I said, I was looking for uh, more domain knowledge in you know image processing space. I wasn't uh, interested. in a pure data science school at that point of time fresh out of college uh, so i contacted my seniors i got a referral then uh, i started the interviewing process and uh, all my projects at cre orange which i had done during the internship came in very handy because i was asked exactly about what algorithms i used why did i use that particular algorithm etc and i was able to answer all of them correctly and as a fresh guy out of college uh, and at that point of time of course there was uh, not a lot of deep learning going on uh, you know around 2016 2017 it was just image processing plus machine learning uh, so at that point of time i think i was suited for the role and i got the go ahead about my projects uh, i was a part of the adas group so what adas means is advanced driving assistance system Uh, so if you think about tesla it is level 5 adas systems which means that uh, these teslas can drive themselves uh, no, no need for any human intervention but with adas it's it's all about assisting the driver so that they make lesser mistakes so my product was called driver seat monitoring system where uh, the system is installed in a truck it continuously monitors the driver and if he falls asleep we raise an alarm Right now, since you're doing deep learning at Geo, and uh, with a lot of partnerships that they've had with Microsoft and Google, uh, there definitely must be a lot of interesting projects coming, you know, uh, in in Reliance Geo. So tell us about what you actually do and uh, how what's like the work culture, and what is it like to work in Geo? We had several other interesting projects. There was automatic number plate recognition. Then there are smart parking systems. You know, for so for a campus like Reliance Corporate Park, there are so many twenty twenty five gates. So mm-hmm. all of them getting our systems. That's the big big mm-hmm. thing in itself. Uh, so yeah, apart from them, I also handle a lot of video analytics for Geo Cinema, Geo TV, etc. If you're let's say you're from Bits, obviously you have the alumni referral network and all that. It just makes it very yes. easy. वो जूनियर है ये सीनियर है इट्स इजी टू कनेक्ट एंड आई एम श्योर विद द अगेन द इंडिविजुअल आई मीन बिट्स अगेन जस्ट बीइंग फोर कैंपसेस इट्स स्टिल इंडिया विद आईटीज देयर इज मोर डाइवर्सिटी अगेन बट एट द सेम टाइम इट्स इजीयर टू डू दैट कनेक्ट व्हेन व्हेन इट कम्स टू अदर कॉलेजेस हाउ डू दे हाउ शुड दे अप्रोच यू और लेट्स से ऑन लिंक्डइन व्हाट इज इट दैट वुड यू नो रिमूव दैट टियर वन क्राइटेरिया एंड मेक देम एज let's say you know top notch and cream de la cream like the others i don't expect that everyone would have such credentials but basically when i first spoke about building an application and deploying them it just takes one week to build a simple application and deploy them everything for free so i think if students can do that much and they ping me or any other person and see that okay so, you know i have built this this project and i am uh, you know interested to work on this little bit more can i work with you no one will say no but if okay. if someone is just if someone is just giving you the resume and say that uh, and a lot of time on linkedin what i see is uh, people just have one sort of template of writing a message and then they give out the resume it may or may not be even relevant for the profile which they are looking for uh, so it doesn't work i mean uh, people people would understand that okay it's not a serious candidate 